again to James J. Chocolate Shop today. Boiling down some sugar here. I'm gonna make some, it's called bonbon. It's a, I have just a, a batch you can turn into a couple different things. I'm gonna be making fondant mints. This has gotta sit overnight, but I thought, it, thought you'd enjoy to see this process. So, wash it down the sides. I'm gonna put this in the cream beater again like we did the buttercream. So, this will make, well, any, any kind of flavor mints you want. Right now, during Christmas, it's gonna be wintergreen peppermint and cinnamon. So right now I've got that washed down. I'm going to get it to a boil and we'll steam it. Basically pure sugar. I'm going to use a, uh, a gelatin. It's basically uh, kind of a doctor, cream of tartar, but this gives it a, uh, a really nice texture to the, uh, to the mints. Nice and smooth. Uncle used to say blessed. Put a little water here so that we avoid uh, sugaring and crystallizing. Turn it on, make sure we cover everything. There you have it. Success again. Right now, I usually just try to get it off the beaters. It's a little easier now than later. It's soft. 25 pounds of sugar and some uh, gelatin. It's what I call the bonbon cream. I'm gonna make some mints tomorrow. I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Put it in a bucket and uh, well, maybe start with some uh, yeah, wintergreen or cinnamon. Or, what do we need? Peppermint too. So. Uh, Stay tuned, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. <laughs> we're, nobody's touched this, so I uh, guess it's up to me to make the mints. So we're gonna make some fondant mints today. Uh, start off with a couple pounds. Gonna make white mints today, white peppermint. We'll be going through cinnamon, which is red, and then uh, wintergreen, which is green. So do that, get this all out of here into a bucket. But let's get this on the fire. A little double boiler action. Throw that baby up on high. Get this going. Be able to stir it then. If you're wondering why I use this end, it's so that you can, you know, basically get it through the, uh, get it through the candy. And it kind of gives you a nice little handle, so. Anyways, it's gonna take about 20 minutes or so. Stir it in between. Uh, and then you'll see what's next. All right, we're getting there. Got a little bit of a run going. Check the double boiler, because nothing worse than these things run out of uh, water. Uh, so basically, you know, it started with this. And now, through the magic of heat, we have that, a nice runny cream. So, next step, add just a couple drops of peppermint oil. Don't want to go too too heavy. Those pure oils. This is a pure oil peppermint. It's strong. Heat up my funnel. Then we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna drop them out. I like to go through a couple times. 
Let's go. We're all set here. Got our mint pads down, and then off we go. Okay, get some more. Now, if you guys think this funneling comes easy, it uh, takes a little practice. Now, these are already starting to set up. So I can come over here and finish. Yeah, they, they don't take long to set up. You know, they set up fast, but you know what? They're deliciously smooth and soft. So, in the coolness of peppermint with the smoothness of the candy, oh, I've got a couple good things going on. So that's that. Well, that wraps up that. We got a beautiful, beautiful looking shiny bonbon fondant cream, fondant mint. This is a peppermint. Delicious. Uh, next thing, as you can tell, they're, they're set up. I'll get them onto the marble here. Gonna do a little, little flip action. And I kind of let them dry for a half an hour or so. And then uh, put them on a tray and uh, get them to the front of the store and sell them. They're delicious. So thanks. Maybe the next batch will be uh, cinnamon. I think that'll look good. Thanks again. I'll, uh, I'll get another batch going.